So today we're going to be doing a quick video, a response to one of Gigak's videos about his shonen tier list. We're just going to be talking about fairy taleness, and this isn't supposed to be a like a, a jab at Gigak. It's just you know constructive debate, argument, just giving a different side to it. Basically, Gigak, you know, he has an opinion, and, and it's fine to have an opinion. Doesn't think fairy tales good. We're just giving another side to that. So today we've got Delta again, and he's going to be discussing why Fairy Tale is a fun series, maybe even a good series in Shonen compared to other Shonen. And because I haven't finished Fairy Tale, so I'm just going to be asking questions. And yeah, it'll be a fun short video. So thanks for coming on, Delta. I appreciate it so much uh, when I can. I, yeah, I'm good to be. I'm glad to be here and. Uh... Glad we can talk about fairy tale. Yeah. So where should we start with this? Because like I'm, I'm sure if some people watch this, I'll link the video that Gigak did. But basically, sure. yeah, he, he actually explained a lot of other shonen well why he thought some were good, one were bad. But at fairy tale, he just like kind of glossed it over at the end. Kind of, it was kind of funny, but yeah, like basically he just said it was bad <laughs> and like put it with Boruto. So right. Yeah. What do you um, think of, about like fairy tale and overall? So I want to bring light on my rating scale just in general. And I do want to get out there that I didn't actually watch the video myself. Um, but uh, it's not just Gigok I'm responding against, but just against the fairy tale hate in general. And uh, But yeah, that's the reason why I came onto this call. So I just wanted to say that uh, my rating system is 5 is average, 6 is above average, 4 is you know, below average, uh, three is bad, seven is good, and so on. I don't think I should be giving any lower yeah. numbers or higher numbers because the basic shonens don't really go that low or go that much higher. The best shonens that are very typical, right, like Black Clover or Eden Zero, um, I gave around a seven. And there are other shonens that I didn't like a lot that I gave a three out of ten. I won't name them because, you know, reasons, of course. But uh, personally, I gave Fairy Tale um, around a six out of ten. Okay, and but so that, what series have you given higher than Fairy Tale for showing them? So Eden Zero is a seven, Black Clover a seven. I think Beyblade the original gave like a six. I gave Yu Gi Oh Five Ds. Actually, Yu Gi Oh Five Ds is a big exception. Like I gave like an eight point five, maybe an eight point seven five. Okay, maybe so because of nostalgia. Yeah, you are clearly in a minority. In a view, like, yes, very. Yes. yes, I am. So why? I, yeah, why I've, don't, I've so, given. I've given very. You know. Okay, so I gave Fairy Tale a six out of ten. I gave Hundred Years Quest, which is a sequel to Fairy Tale, a seven out of ten. One Hundred Years Quest is the reason why I rate Fairy Tale or treat it the way that I do, okay. and that's with care, right? If we, I've if given. Fairy... I've given a lot of like you know popular shonen like um, you know I'm just gonna say it outright. I've given One Piece, yeah. Naruto, Bleach. Five out of tens. Um, what about? I thought that. Some, what, about slam, what about the slam dunk, Hajime no Ippo and Hunter Hunter? Because Giga so, gave them the top. Hajime no Ippo is like a seven point five or an eight for me. Um, I think the pacing is kind of slow on it, um, and whatnot. But we're not here to talk about Hajime no Ippo. Uh, we're, we also we also brought up slam dunk. Slam Dunk, I'm also not a really big fan of, but that's because I haven't gotten past Volume 6. It's just, you know, I don't know. I've, I still got to continue it. And uh, so far, the beginning isn't really impressing me much, but I still got to go on before I can say anything else about it. And Hunter x Hunter, I, okay, this might make a lot of your fans angry, but I gave it a 5 out of 10 as well, the 2011 series. Okay. Um, so reasons, of course. You'd probably so you gave Fairy Tale six, so you'd probably right. put it in the middle of a tier list if you had to do your own shonen tier list. Probably. Yeah, like if if you're not including the like D Rayman or you go five Ds or yeah. you know the other shonen that I do like a lot, a you'd lot somewhere in the middle. Yeah, like I'm talking about like a series that were inspired by Dragon Dragon Ball styled yeah. battle shonen. That's what I'm referring to. I don't, I don't think D Rayman is. Yeah. Really Dragon Ball Z style. It's but I don't know what to compare it to. Yeah. What would you say if another show in that fairy tales around equal to? Oh, I, you know, I, I would say Black Clover is like fairy tale but better, I would say. Like I think the slice of like the, the biggest gripe for me for Black Clover was how long it took to get good. 
Okay. And I think when it does get good, it does get good. And uh, the slice of life scenes are what carry it for me. I, I enjoy the character interactions quite a bit. Um, I, I enjoyed the slice of life scenes in Fairy Tale quite a bit, but the fights in Fairy Tale were kind of bland. Okay. But Black Clover fights, I think they're a upgrade to Fairy Tale. But uh, you know, it's the slice of life scenes that really get you know it's because of the characters and you know their interactions and whatnot. And I think that's one of the biggest strengths of Fairy Tale as a series. I think that Natsu and Lucy is a really good ship. I, shipping was really big in Fairy Tale. Um, so, so what are the reasons why you think Fairy Tale is not bad and why it's a fun? Or so, do you think it's a good series? Do you think it's a good series? I think A Hundred Years Quest, its sequel is a really good series. And I think Mashima had improved as a writer drastically in A Hundred Years Quest. Uh, faster pacing, but, you know, even better slice of ice than before. Uh, his ships got way more development in 100 Years Quest than the original series. So, you know, the ships were nice. They had some interaction in the original series, but they improved it much more into its sequel, 100 Years Quest. And that's that's a big drawback because I felt like a lot of the ships in other shonens just didn't have much chemistry. And, you know, like the character interactions just... It didn't feel the same. And when you talk about the spotlights of each character, Fairy Toe falls under the guise of a multiple perspective series. Uh, so each of the characters get the spotlight from what I've noticed. Uh, you know, uh, some series, Gajo beats the main guy. Some series, not series, some arcs, sorry, where Gajo wins. Some arcs, Gray is beating the main main guy. Uh, I won't bring up the arcs for because of spoilers. Yeah. But uh, I felt like in a lot of, of Naruto, a lot of in One Piece, uh, the, the bad guy, you know, would be beaten by the main character. Uh, Hunter x Hunter was also pretty different in that regard, but um, there was a lot of info dumping that I didn't like within it, personally. So you, and, you, fair, and that's a, another thing with Fairy Tale is that they, it lacks info dumping, so a lot of people get angry at that because of the lack of explanations. Yeah, personally, I was going to bring that me, up. Yeah, so personally, Fairy Tale doesn't really need complex explanations. A lot of a lot of these aspects people complain about or have already been foreshadowed before. Um, you know, like the fairy sphere, or you know how emotions are, you know, correlated or even infinitely proportional to one strength. Um, so just, you, you I would think... say that you think you like fairy tale and think it's good because it, it portrays more emotion and, and friendship well compared to these, like, over-the-top, like... I don't, I don't think fairy tale does friendship any better than One Piece does. I think fairy tale could finish arcs really quickly and they could finish fights in, like, one chapter... I remember in a couple One Piece fights, I think the Crocodile and uh, what was that Water 7 boss? Oh, I forgot. I think it's Rob, Rob Lucci. Yeah. yeah, Rob Lucci. I, I believe those fights took like 10 chapters or something. It was ridiculously long. Yeah. And for Fairy Tale, they finished fights in like one chapter. Um, a lot of people would say that, oh, One Piece had a lot of detail in it. And I, I agree. I think One Piece does have a lot of detail in it. But I think that some of the fights just last ridiculously long. Especially in the manga, like ten chapters is just way too much for me. So it doesn't have uh, the info dumping fairy tale, but what it it conveys emotion, good in storytelling. Uh, I'm really iffy on saying good storytelling because the last arc in the original yeah. fairy tale was very eh. But I think a hundred years quest, the sequel of it is, I think it fixed any of the problems that I had. Um, so what does the hundred years quest? do so, that you like that other shonen don't do well well it, I'll, I'll leave other shonen plus what previously fairy tale didn't do and that was work on its ships the ships were the ships. some of the biggest the ships right so like yeah. uh pairings romantic pairings um i i think example sakura and sasuke were bad naruto well, i just didn't think it worked hinata and naruto i didn't like at all so is, um, is the ships the main reason why you would say you think it's a fun series, fairy tale? Would you say it's a Absolutely. good series? Would you say it's a good Absolutely. series? I don't see a lot of shonens outside of Rurouni Kenshin and Inuyasha and maybe Yu Yu Hakusho that really focus on the ships okay. often. And, you know, when when a lot of the female characters are put on the backseat. Because uh, that, this sounds very narrow and specific in a well, sense. Well, it's... I, I think every series has their flaws and their strengths. I'm just saying what I think are the flaws for fairy tale. I think some ships and other series can be done well, but you know some other aspects of it might you know not make up for its strengths, right? Um, 
Hunter x Hunter has amazing fights, right? But sometimes it can be slogged down by its uh, the info dumping, yeah. narration, its yeah. detail. Uh, sometimes they talk about simple stuff that doesn't need to be explained in a complex manner. It's not physics, right? From my point of view, at the very least. Yeah. Okay, that makes sense. I think the ships is the main reason. Yes, I believe yeah. it is. And the slice of life scenes. The slice of life. Okay. Um, the manga art is also very nice, but he, Mashima improves even better in Eden Zero, which has a lot of battleships that are like hella detailed, man. Like, I don't know what to tell you, man. It's like some of the best uh, weekly shonen art that I've seen. Uh, Aisho 21 level, Diamond Oasis level uh, art, I would say. Maybe uh, I would even say better than that. Okay, cool. Anything else you want to say about the video? Uh, I feel like a lot of the... I, I want to close it off because we're past 12 minutes, but yeah. I... I want to close it off by saying that uh, I think a lot of the the hate that Fairy Tale gets is I think there's a there's a bias around it. I think it's called a conformity bias. Yeah. And I think if one person hates it, then everyone else has to hate it. Mm. Um, a lot of people hate SAO, but I think the light novels are solid. I think everyone should try and read the light novels, especially SAO Progressive. Uh, the anime doesn't do it. You know, the anime itself is a one a one a one handle it really well like the production values are top notch the voice acting is great but it just some of the content in it like some of it just isn't explained kirito just comes off as very generic but if you read like you know the light novel then you remove that conformity bias then i think you can actually genuinely enjoy the you know sta one of the most hated series on you know in the anime community i think the kirito can be treated the same way as well it's you know a lot of people like specific shonen because a lot of people that like it, they don't ever question if they genuinely like it themselves. Just like they don't question whether fairy tale, you know, is you know if they genuinely hate it or not. They say fairy tale has these assholes, blah 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 blah, power of friendship. Even though a lot of these assholes and suspension of disbelief, which is an actual term within you know literature, it happens to most shonen. A lot of shonen suffer from the suspension of disbelief, aka Deus Ex Machinas or assholes, right? Yeah. So you know. I don't, I don't think Fairytale should be, you know, outcasted from, uh, you know, Bleach, Naruto, One Piece, Hunter x Hunter, JJK. They've all had some sort of assholes in them that uh, aren't really that good. The, even my favorite series, Fate Stay Night, has plenty of assholes in it. It's just that in my favorite routes, Unlimited Blade Works and Heaven's Field, there's less assholes in it. Except maybe the Kira and Shiro fight. But I thought that was kind of justified due to the parallels. Yeah, awesome. But yeah. Yeah. That'll be it, yeah, awesome. on my end. That makes sense. I think it's just important to get another perspective about when, like, I think the video's had over 500,000 views. So, you know, just, it's, it's, it's you know, it's fine for Gigaf to do, you know. It's it's his opinion and it kind of did it in I, a funny way. He did it in a funny way at the end, kind of. Just I, like, but I think it's I'm important to you, have this perspective as well. Right. I'm, I'm going to tell you, like, another point of view. It's related to Fate Zero and Fate Zero. Um, if somebody recommended Fate Zero first, then Fate Stay Night, uh, I would tell them not to, you know, give opinions like that out because it you get a lot of shit posters on Reddit, 4chan, yeah. uh, Anime Amino who say Fate Zero is the only real fate there is. Um, they have to act like it's a deep story when it's, I don't think it is. But, uh, and uh, they gave a lot of misinformation. A lot of the fans have to deal with it. Same with Fairy Tale fans. They've got to deal with all this hate and when, you know, big uh, any tuber like Gigguk gives an opinion, you yeah. know that Fairy Tale fans are going to be having a lot of shit rained on their parade Definitely. and uh, it's more work for them to deal with and I don't think they deserve all that effort to put in. No, no, that's fair, you know. Well, hopefully if you watched the video to the end, thanks for watching. Uh, like, comment, subscribe and share the video out on social media so maybe that Gigguk can see this video and... Maybe, you know, that'd be good to see. Maybe in respond to it, that would be good to actually get some talk about fairy tale again. But thanks for watching. Uh, subscribe and have an awesome day. Cheers, guys. Bye.